Um, I've recorded quite a few albums in my history with various labels. But I want to say, this one is called Montro Alexander. Put a play on words, right? In 1976, I received this invitation to participate at that wonderful festival in Montreux, Switzerland. It was uh, July, I think, and it was a hot summer. And myself with my colleagues, John Clayton, fantastic bassist, terrific drummer, Jeff Hamilton. We had just closed an engagement at London's popular jazz club, Ronnie Scott's. And we were well seasoned. We was like a crack team, you know, and I was, Wherever I went, musically, direction-wise, those two guys followed me right there. You know, everywhere I went, there they were, and the three of us made a, a joyful sound. So, what a thrill. This festival had hosted the beginnings, I think was in 1968, when the great Claude Nobbs, a man a lot like Hans Georg, because he had fun with the music, and he made everybody welcome, treated you very well. So when you went there, you really wanted to play, and the concerts were in a, what was a casino where people, I guess they gambled there, but it was a perfect auditorium as well for a concert. And he first had Ella Fitzgerald there, and he had a lot of great artists had come there before. And um, on this occasion, the night I went there to play, on the bill that night, I remember the Thad Jones Mel Lewis Orchestra, which was like, as we say, as mean as they come. That swinging orchestra, and then there was Stan Getz and his quintet. And he was there and these, all these people are very, very well known. And me, you know, I don't even think they heard my name before. So I was this, uh, call it, uh, this, uh, I don't know, call me, give me a name. I'm, a, I'm trespassing, <laughs> trespassing, you know. And well, we three got on the bandstand and I remember I felt that good vibe when you have it inside you. And I said, we're going to do this thing tonight. We're going to rock this joint. We're going to swing it to, to kingdom come. And that was Jeff and John and myself. There they are. A lot of hair on our heads, right? <laughs> Here today, gone tomorrow. Well, I still have my hair, okay? So we got on the bandstand and I remember it was a very hot summer. And we had on these tuxedos and they were a little on the scratchy side. And I mean, that was going on while we were playing. But the music was very exciting and from the first note, it was like the jet taking off and the audience felt it and every little move I made that had a, a dramatic uh, moment, the audience responded very, very wonderfully. So all through the recording, the audience is the fourth member of the trio. We're swinging and I remember I was playing and I looked at the end of the piano and, and there's this woman in a black leotard outfit. She's standing there looking at me like this with piercing, fierce, expression looking at me like this right at the end of the the, the the piano it was Nina Simone son of a gun there's Nina Simone and I remember I was playing a song which is on the album called feelings feelings which was a popular popular song and most jazz musicians they were kind of too hip to play such a popular song you got to jazz people a lot of times that want to be mysterious I don't want to be mysterious I just want to play what comes to me right and um, it's funny because the next night I went to her concert and Nina played Feelings, <laughs> in a similar way that I had, but she sang it and tore it up. Anyhow, Claude Nobbs, the Montreux Festival, amazingly, they're still going. It's what, the 52nd year coming up? They had to take a year off. 55th year, holy mackerel. They, they took off last year because of COVID-19, sad, but they're back in business and I've been there over 23 times performing in one uh, configuration or another. But with two, these two guys, we made this very well received record. So much so, a lot of young musicians going to the academies or the conservatories, I'll meet them and they say, Mr. Alexander. I said, Wow, I got your record there. Wow, how'd you do that? What'd you do? I said, What are you talking about? It, it was just magical. And, you know, I have to say, you can't explain magic. You can't explain people like Hans Georg, record label like MPS, and what I do. It's magic. That's all I have to say and people enjoyed it and they're still enjoying it. I'm delighted that there is going to be a re-release again of this recording and other surprises. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.